The next chapter of the Met Open Championship has officially begun, and Glen Oaks Club in Old Westbury, New York, certainly set a high standard for the next 100 years of the championship. With its pristine conditioning, demanding length, and fast greens, Glen Oaks provided players with a superb test of golf and a beautiful stage for competition in the 101st Met Open. Tam O'Shanter head professional Mark Brown had control of the lead throughout the championship, carding red numbers each round en route to a total score of 4 under 206 and finishing as the only player under par for the tournament. The final round saw several players make a run at Brown, including Mike Miller, Mike Ballow, Peter Ballow, Brian Mackey, and especially Cameron Young. The 19-year-old amateur opened the championship with rounds of 70-73 and made a major run on his first nine of the final round. A birdie on the 480-yard par-4 first hole sparked his momentum as he went on to birdie the 3rd, 6th, 8th, and ninth holes to make the turn at 5-under, eventually standing just one back from Brown. It all came down to the back nine, and on the 315-yard par-4 11th hole, Young hit a wayward tee shot that led to a bogey. Brown birdied that hole, sinking a putt from outside 20 feet to get his momentum back on track. Young bounced back from his bogey with a birdie, but in the end, Brown's consistency would set him apart from the rest of the field. He birdied the par 5 13th and the par 4 16th as he was able to fire his uphill approach shot to a back hole location. In the meantime, Young faltered on 16 and 17 to fall off the pace, but ended with a 3 under 67 to come in at even par and finish as runner-up for the championship. Uh, nice to have opportunities, um, and I kind of gave myself that pretty much all day today. I wasn't, again, I wasn't too stressful uh, until I heard Cameron was uh, five under for the day. So, but I just try to maintain what I've done all week. Just try and uh, keep the ball in front of me and uh, try and keep it below the hole as best I could. Mark Brown now joins Elite Company as just the fifth player to win the Met Open three times. His first win came in 1999 at Tuxedo, and in 2013 he won right down the road from Glen Oaks at Old Westbury. His name will be added to the record books along with McDonald Smith, Walter Hagen, Wes Ellis, and Daryl Kessner. Uh, it's pretty cool to, to, to realize that I won back in 99 and here I am in 2016 to win. Cameron Young finished as the low amateur for the second consecutive year, capping off a great summer season that included a win at the Ike back in June. Glen Oaks Club served as a superb test for the Met Area's top professionals and amateurs, and its world-class conditioning provided by golf course superintendent Craig Courier and his staff, along with the challenge of the composite course, will test the world's best next year in the lead event of the FedEx Cup playoffs. The top 25 finishers this year are exempt into the 102nd Met Open Championship at Hollywood Golf Club in Deal, New Jersey. For full coverage of the Met Open Championship, including photos, recaps, and more, visit mgagolf.org.